Hello guys, welcome to another episode and the today topic is about growing edible Chinese chrysanthemums. They are called mums in shorts. There is this ornamental mums and edible mums. The one you are looking in your screen, they are ornamental mums. We are not talking about ornamental mum for today. Today topic is about edible mums. So in our summary, we have this chrysanthemum growing open feed or outdoor, and these chrysanthemums grow indoor or greenhouse. And we have also processing room. Uses of this edible mums as veg, yellow tea, red tea, and also making arco. Yes, very strong arco from mums. Growing chrysanthemum in the greenhouse. Yes, in Indo, mums the annual herbaceous plant and the photoperiodically short day plant. They flower in short day, right? They originated from Japan and China. They grow well in drained soil with high organic matter content and soil pH at 5 to 6. The mums are short day plant, thus flowering when they are growing at photo period of less than 12 hours per 24 hours. Mums are sensitive with high temperature, so it is very important to provide shade during the summer to reduce the temperature. Every variety of this plant is produced by rethrin, a natural insecticide in their seed pods. Growing the chrysanthemum in open feed or outdoor. We are talking about edible chrysanthemums, which are annual plants, have white yellow disc flowers. They used from time for cooking and the medicinal purpose. They extensively used in Asian countries. The plant, when they are young, they can be as vegetable and the leaf they use it even for flowering soup. In China, leaves and flour used to make tea. The tea has this property which stimulates the urine production and help condition of fluid retention in the body. And proper function of the kidney and the bladder. This plant is edible, possess many medicinal properties. The plant used to treat cough. The flour and leaf are used for in toning the stomach and also improving its functional and the appetite when we're talking about medicinal uses of these mums. Mums have been used for 100 years in Chinese medicine. People use this to treat respiratory problem, high blood pressure, hyperthyroidism. Also, they treat chest pain, diabetes, fever, cold, headache, dizziness, even swearing. The combination with other herbs, grass mum, they use it to treat prostate cancer. Beverage means tea in it. So what's nutrition in this tea? Grassmum tea, they have rich in potassium and many minerals, which help to reduce the risk of serious health condition like cancer, diabetes, and stroke and heart disease, it's also a good source of magnesium. Edible mum used for vegetable, can be eaten as raw, like salad, or even you can cook it. Mums, they are moderate to nutritious vegetable containing uh, useful amount of potassium, calcium, iron, and many vitamins from B1 to B6, C, and beta carotene as pesticide ingredients. Mums, they have many medicinal uses as well as cosmetic purpose and the pesticide. So they, as pesticide, they produce this pyrethrin, which is very essential to make pesticide. This pyrethrin, how based, plant-based insecticide, is made from dried flour of mums. Although it takes pretty high on, uh, concentration of flowers to make pyrethrum. So avoid planting this type of mums in your edible garden. I mean this mum for making pesticide to be safe. Pyrethrum are not highly toxic to human, save large doses. 
like think drinking 55 gallon of tea who does that since it is extracted direct from the plant it considers non-toxic to human pyrethrum is approved in us for use of certified organic farms that's because they are non-toxic they have been used for natural insecticide for centuries guys Pyrethrum break down quickly under sun exposure, making them actually excellent barrier crop to protect food from the insects. That's why it's used for insecticide. Do your own research before consuming any product from mom because there is no scientific proof about this medicine. Control of photo period, which is the far period which time organism receive illumination or day rain. Development uh, response of the plant to relative range of light and the dark period. Flowering is affected by day rains, temperature, and the plant size. Photoperiodic behavior of mums require manipulation of light to induce or inhibit flowering. This is a big advantage for grower. Increase artificial photoperiodic light from 12 to 16, meaning add more four hours to inhibit flowering supply light which this they call the passing method which 10 light followed by 10 20 minutes of darkness by use this special lamp use produce red radiation there is more many common in this photo periodic light like this one led light it helps grower to control the size of plant dry flowering by pinching the shoot before the number reach 13. All mums are edible, but flowers vary from plant to plant, from sweet, tangy, bitter, even some are pepper. In processing room, processing room used to dry, curing, grading, packaging, and the storing of mum. So let's go, guys, to the processing to see what is inside you see there is many stacked uh, trays with mom's product and down here you can see this is the product from mom's this is the chrysanthemums flowers they are already dried and ready to make different product they can use it to make tea as i mentioned alcohol uh, can use it as a veggie depending which process or time it harvested so here this is the flower ready for many uses they can be used to make even a cosmetic pesticide as i mentioned earlier so this is the processing room where they pack and uh, uses of this edible chrysanthemums they can be used as greens yes vegetable can be as salad like garnish, some you can stir and fries. You can make also even your veg, you can cook, and also you can mix with, with rice. Chrysanthemum tea. The flower tea benefit and the medicinal uses. You can see big mug and some cup. This tea used for improving eyesight, reducing anxiety and even various elements so this is advantage of chinese tea this preparation act as antibiotic against many bacteria tradition of this tea is made from yellow and white flowers so you can see here many yellow flowers with this this is the tea guys this is you can see the flower which is full broom open this is the product they, they are selling so we took this one and let's go and see so this is one pack small sack you can see how it's packed it's the packed in premium package let's take out the flower you can see this flower is full bloom the yellow chrysanthemums guys they are very strong aroma and also this they use to make tea and for me i like uh, this kind of uh, tea i mix with the ripton tea because this yellow flower they are not very strong they are soft tea from the full 
broom flower but they are very fragrant and they also have this another kind you can see this different product and uh, this chrysanthemums uh, with the flower which is not open full they give strong tea when the flower bud they are still closed so this is the best tea for me because it's very strong this one is slightly strong the flower is quite half open and this is the perfect tea with strong aroma so if you like strong you go with red and if you like soft or slightly you go with this uh, yellow this chrysanthemums used to make even alcohol or wine which is strong alcohol it's made from the flowers you can see here traditional they use yellow or white uh, blossom you can see the premium package of this alcohol they packed very well they are 39 percentage alcohol by volume which is very strong closer to vodka so vodka is almost about 40 and this is 39 so it's very strong guys so thank you for watching guys see you in another episode bye